Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. Welcome if you're returning, welcome if you're new. My name is Blue. We're about to get into Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus love readings. This is for all of the Leos who are in a situationship, a relationship. You got somebody in mind, whatever the case, this is for you, okay? So my lovely Leos who are single or you don't have anybody or you still swiping on Tinder, this is not your video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. If this does resonate, I do do personal readings. All of that information is in the description box below. Okay, Leo, so... I'm getting a channel message of a breakthrough for Leo, okay? It feels like clarity. It feels like understanding. It feels like meeting halfway, meeting in the middle, okay? Now, if you are in a relationship, I feel like, you know, you could be coming to terms with something or understanding something, a situation that happened a little bit better now with your person. Or even if you guys are, like, separated, it's like somebody is doing the reflection work on their own time. And two people are kind of understanding a little bit better what went wrong, okay? Um, I'm just hearing the song um, by Mary J. Blige. Um, and I'll be waiting up until you get home. It just feels like, you know, somebody is waiting on a return or waiting for somebody to come back so that they can express, you know, their understanding about a situation. So um, let's see, Leo. Making a breakthrough. Now, if you guys are not in like conflict or if you haven't had any conflict recently, I also feel like this could be breaking through, coming to terms with a decision that you guys were thinking about making together. So this could have something to do with like a home or moving out together or moving in together, whatever the case may be. So let's see what's going on for Leo. Reservation. Uh, strategy. And we also have introvert. Uh-huh. Okay. So, yeah. Leo, I feel like, uh, okay, somebody could be trying to do something very nice for you. Or it's like they're trying to reserve something for you. I feel like I'm hearing you're always going to have a place in my heart. Um, Yeah, what's that Mary J. Blonde song? I don't know what the title is. I can't be without you or something like that. Some of you guys could be listening to Mary J. But it's almost like um, you guys are definitely having certain desires. And it's, it's feeling like you guys are going by any means to get there. To kind of get what it is that you want um, to plan for something for the future. But with introvert, I feel as though this could be kind of causing you to like be closed off from your partner. So there's two situations here, Leo. Either you are so busy trying to get to the bag or trying to make something manifest for yourself that your partner could feel like a little bit detached from you. Or they feel like you are pulling away from them, like you're way too introverted towards them. They feel like that, okay? And this could be triggering for them. Or it could be another situation, too, where um, somebody is trying to do something very nice for you, Leo, or you guys are trying to do something nice together. There's something that you want, a goal that you're trying to reach together. You're trying to figure out how to get there. But there's some type of disconnect within agreeing on something or getting to a conclusion about something. So let's look at this introvert card. Two people scrolling on their phones with their back turned. It's almost like, you know somebody's having a hard time compromising all right so let's just get into this these oracles and see what this says and then we'll happen with tarot of course and i'll be waiting up until you get home all right so you have oh underlying motives hmm. underlying motives It's never over. <laughs> uh, look at these cards, y'all. They're very pretty. I got these off of Amazon. Um, it's never over. And we also have... Someone has unmet needs and closure. Okay, Leo. Yeah, so... Somebody could be neglecting their partner while they're getting to the bag or trying to figure something out or trying to make something work for them. Or maybe it could just be someone's habits that's making their partner feel a little bit unseen, unheard, okay? Um, if you guys have separated um, or fell out after some type of disagreement or like an argument, baby, <laughs> this person is coming back, okay? I'm trying to tell you. Um, or you want to come back to them, whatever the case may be. It's almost like somebody still needs closure about a situation because something could have happened really, really quickly. It's almost like, you know, one week you guys were like great or at least okay. And then the next week it was just like, like, yeah, I got to go. And it's like, you know, what even just happened? So with underlying motives, don't get me wrong, okay? 
this feels like anxiety energetically and intuitively y'all i'm not gonna lie it feels like anxiety more than anything else now with strategy you know uh, obviously there could be like you know someone's uh, intuition going off about like third party energy whether it is a side chick a side guy somebody spending way too much time with family friends or on work coming before their partner but this also just feels like triggers more than anything so let's just get into the tarot and see what the tarot was talking about and get some specifics Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Six of Swords. So yeah, I feel like y'all, somebody literally like had a feeling, they felt an emotion, and they was just like, pew, like they just went straight to the point of no return, or they went straight to doing um, the most intense option. Um, it's almost like somebody made like a very quick decision, or um, they just decided to do something really quickly out of like the spur of the moment. And they just kind of like went off and did them. Now, this could have been, Leo, somebody leaving you. Are you leaving somebody after a disagreement or an argument? Or this also could just be somebody who like is hyper-focused on their career and what it is that they want to do. They're hyper-focused on their passions. And they don't really think too much about how their partner is going to feel, okay? I don't see any malicious energy here. It's almost like it's just creating like blockages right now. Or it's creating someone to feel a little bit closed off from their partner, um, I feel like there is also trouble with communication here, Leo, with somebody saying how it is that they feel. You guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Aquarius, okay? Because we have Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the Six of Swords. That's Sagittarius and Aquarius energy. Um, we also have another Leo could be showing up or a Gemini possibly. But it just feels like, you know, somebody is not really taking the time to understand their partner or to communicate with their partner about what their plans are, what their goals are, why they're doing it. I feel like, too, somebody might go out in the middle of the night. They stay out all night. They don't come home till 5 o'clock in the morning. And then they just come home like everything is cool. Like, yeah, when you go maybe breakfast. And it's just like, um, you're crazy. I don't, I don't think that that's what it is. So with underlying motives here, um... I don't necessarily feel, Leo, like someone is trying to necessarily um, do do you dirty, okay? I'm not going to lie. It just feels like some of you, um, and this is a specific message, could have heard like um, some type of third-party gossip or like you, maybe you're getting advice from a friend who's just like, yeah, why he didn't come home till 5 o'clock in the morning? He cheating on you or she out there with her with her with her side piece or something like that you know you need to move on so make sure that you guys are being very careful about who you're getting advice from because with this queen of swords coming out in reverse there's an energy here too of like um somebody being a little bit biased or taking somebody else's word for something uh, especially if you guys are dealing with third-party energy or could be somebody here that is strategizing on breaking you guys up or something like that or they're just simply putting their own traumas and fears into like the advice that they give you so be careful um that's coming out with um aquarius and libra energy okay so I feel like for some of you, Leos, yes, there was a situation where you're dealing with somebody who has hurt you in the past, okay? If this is that same person, I completely understand why you're having a hard time trusting them, okay? If you have already known to be true that somebody has patterns of cheating, not being faithful, not being truthful, I mean, that's a whole nother situation. But for Leos who have never been given a reason by the person to like... um not trust them or to not take their word for it i really feel like um you know somebody is just not feeling secure right now and that's really what it boils down to um so let me clarify underlying motives right here because we have the queen of swords in reverse and the ten of cups i'm not getting that there's anything sneaky going on y'all the three of cups has not come out the devil card is not here the magician there's nothing here indicating so for those of you leos who again are kind of worried about um something else interfering in the connection i'm not seeing that now for those of you leos who again are strategizing to buy something together move in together move out together whatever the heck the case may be slow down okay i'm, I'm gonna say that like slow down i feel like especially with the it's never over card like don't be hasty coming to conclusions or jump into decisions that you really don't even want to do. You know, Leo, like I feel like there's a, a situation here where somebody is like they feel uncomfortable 
or they don't necessarily feel comfortable communicating with their partner. So they just jump to like, we're over or I'm done with this or forget you. But they don't want to really go, you know? It's just something could be worked out with a simple conversation. So show me underlying motives. Please and thank you. Lessons are being taught. Exactly. So I feel like there's actually a, a lesson coming in from the universe about being a little bit more um, forthcoming, um, more communicative, more mature too. So somebody could be learning a lesson about maturity because I've, I get an energy here, Leo, where somebody could have come from a dysfunctional home, okay? And there's no shame in that because a lot of us have. I know I have. You know, I didn't necessarily grow up with that upbringing or with that um, white picket fence and two-parent home. So joining together can be scary it can really be scary and this is not to speak on you as a person or your or your lack of intelligence or or you're just a bad person somebody is literally in their learning era and that's okay like if you love somebody you be patient while they figure something out okay but just make sure that you guys are communicating and taking your time to work through issues and you're not like up in like <laughs> out as soon as something kind of like makes you feel uncomfortable okay some of you guys too could have dealt with like a Libra, Aquarius, or Sagittarius in the past who like lied to you or cheated or something of that nature. So now it's kind of like you are quick to make decisions based off of things that have happened previously, okay? And just make sure that you're not allowing that to disconnect you from your partner. Aww. Um. All right, so then we have the Page of Swords in reverse. So, yeah, somebody, too, could be, like, spying on somebody because with the um, Page of Swords in Reverse and the Six of Swords in Reverse, this gives the energy of, like, somebody has not moved on yet, okay? Somebody has not moved on from a situation that has ended. It's like they're still lurking. They're still waiting for the opportunity to come back into the picture. So, if you are wondering whose burner account that is up in your viewers on Instagram, baby, that's, that's your partner, okay? That's your partner, and I feel like they just still want to see what you have going on. They want to see if you moved on. They're also still strategizing. Somebody could be planning on doing something very nice for you, Leo, as a way to say, I'm sorry, as a way to kind of just like, you know, come back in and swoop in when the time is right. I feel like really somebody just needs to, to put their pride to the side, call somebody and tell them that, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for kind of like being stubborn, being rigid. I'm sorry for like... um not being honest or you know maybe even indulging in a little bit of like back and forth for a power struggle i feel like you know somebody really doesn't mean to um hurt you or harm you or give you the runaround it's just like their insecurities get the best of them and they're not at that stage yet where they can like say i'm sorry they're not at that stage yet where they can take accountability baby that's a that's a grown person sport okay don't get it twisted yes we are adults when we turn 18 and some of us don't ever grow up but taking accountability being communicative that is a grown person sport so somebody is learning that remember like lessons are being taught you know there's no underlying motives outside of um well for the most of you i will say that for the uh, leo collective this looks pure this just looks like a learning curve it looks like somebody is um will rather kind of keep to themselves or close off rather than to be honest about what's bothering them okay so now we have aries energy coming up on the board um also too leo some of you guys' partners could be having money issues okay that could be like a big factor here it's almost like two somebody is like withdrawing because they do not feel good enough or they feel like um the bills ain't never stopping okay and somebody could be a little embarrassed because they can't give you what it is that they feel like you deserve or what it is that you like especially for some of you guys if you are into the finer things we all know leo is going to do it to them when they step out okay period <laughs> so it almost feels like somebody could be a little embarrassed too like they want to do something really nice for you they want to make a reservation they're trying to strategize but i feel like in getting to the bag or in trying to um I've been watching too much Baddies West. And get into the bag or in trying to like work something out financially, they are distancing themselves a little bit. All right. So let's just close this out because devil card coming up last, child. Don't let them streets get the best of you. I'll be on my way when you're coming through. Now, listen, this is about to be a ghetto message, but if some of y'all are dealing with, like, hood people, okay, I feel like they just be in the streets, period. Again, 
I don't know if I channeled this earlier, but I'm channeling it now. Like somebody stays out all hours of the night and they come in like two, three, four, five, six in the morning. And when they get home, they just be like, nothing is wrong. It's just like, where have you been? Okay. Some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who they just have addictions. Okay. Maybe they are even going through like some type of depression spell or something of that nature. So like they, the way that they deal with their, um, habits or with, the things that they go through emotionally it puts their partner in a state of dis-ease because it's just like listen i know you're going through a hard time maybe like you have family drama going on or like you have financial problems going on but when you like just stop coming home and when you stop like wanting to have sex and when you when you are like at the strip club or you are out with your guys all night your girls all night that makes me nervous my love like you know that really does that does something to me i don't I want you to be safe. I want you to be home. I want you to talk to me when you're going through problems. Don't go hang out with your guys. Don't go hang out with your girls. Don't go to the strip club. Don't get back on them perkies, okay? I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm from Philly. I can't help it. But seriously, and all jokes aside, like, somebody just needs to kind of connect more with their partner through a situation instead of, like, um, turning to something else or, like, assuming the possible, the absolute worst. So the overall energy that we have here is the Four of Wands, like, let me just say this if you guys are in separation your person is for sure coming back okay with this it's never over card it's absolutely for certain that somebody is not really ready for this connection to be over and they still want closure from this but somebody just has to stop being like so close-minded and um have a conversation be forthright and out um and just come out to their partner and tell them what it is that's on their mind what's on their heart and you know there's going to be a connection again so I'm seeing a connection for a lot of you guys during Pisces season, okay? Pisces or Aries season because in the middle of the card of the deck, we have the Pisces energy and then the overall energy is Aries. So some of you guys could be getting communication from your partner within the next, um, I'm hearing two to three months, okay? So if you want to reach out early and have that little convo, definitely do that, but I love you, Leo, so much. I hope that you guys are feeling um, good, feeling better, focusing on what it is that you um, want to do. And if your partner comes with you, they come with you. If they don't, y'all are Leos, period, okay? Somebody else is going to want you for sure. Y'all is not going to be on the market for too long. But mwah, bye, Leo.